up everybody i'm headed to the star we're going we're going to the star as y'all know i work as the chaplain of the cowboys and so we're going out there to do bible study today and today i get to go with my boy trent shelton he's actually like a mentor mentee we kind of mentor each other you always got to have somebody in your life that you can be real with talk to and that you can grow with and that's what we do and trent shelton is the ceo owner of rehab time and so rehab time, rehabbing your life from the inside out. So we played for Baylor together, and then we played with the Washington Redskins together. So we were both trying to get into this league. All I know is that the Lord spoke to me and said, make sure Trent is saved. I talked to Trent about Jesus. He, he knows who Jesus is. He's raised in the church, all that kind of stuff. But that day, um, he solidified his relationship that he already knew about. Let me put it that way. And ever since then, his whole purpose, everything just took off. and. Uh, now he's got, what, over 8 million followers. He's got books coming out. He's got events all over the world, not the country, but the world. And uh, and so I'm privileged to just have him with me because now he pours back into me. I was saying, you know, Lord means boss. You only have one that's supposed to be able to tell you what to do. The problem is, is we got one too many lords. One means not more than one. So you got too many, you got too many things bossing you around. You know what I mean? You got money bossing you around. You got the politics of the game bossing you around whether how somebody values you, bossing you around. And so that determines um, how you feel. It determines whether you're depressed. It determines whether, well, that's because Paul said you only got one. We got more than one. Yeah, social media is one. Social media is one? Yeah, big one. I'm glad you said that. I, 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 said, I said the other day, uh, he said perception has become people's new God, you know, because they're slaves to perception, how people see them, it's like, it's like how people perceive that they are, so people will literally, you know, lose themselves trying to please, you know, someone else, especially like social media wise, like it's like, you know, like, oh, okay, I have to do this, or I have to pretend like I'm this, you know, so it's crazy, man, like, it was a study, man, it was, uh, they, they had people with, like, I guess plastic surgeons, like, they said that more people have come in now that said, I want to look like this filter. What, are you talking, are you talking about the Instagram filter? Yes, like they would bring it, like, just like the color or whatever, not like necessarily the dog, but like, yeah. you know, just like the filter, you can make yourself look whatever. Yeah. They said, I want to look like this in real life. And they're saying, like, a lot of people, you're so used to using filters that you can't accept yourself without one. So, so I'm doing, like, a love yourself challenge. It's like a 20-day challenge. That's one of the things, like, one of the days is transparency. It's like, don't post any filter, post your raw, real self talk about something that, you know, in your life that you've been ashamed of or, you know, you haven't necessarily opened up about. And a lot of people struggle with it. Like, I've had people even I say, I can't do day six. You can't like, do what? They, like, on day six, the transparency there in our, in our challenge. Oh, yeah. We had probably, that's the only day people say, this is super hard for me. Like, I can't do it. Uh, yeah, what you is know? day six? So it's transparency day. So basically, so no you, filter. Oh, you got to just go. You okay, go, you yeah, go. just be yourself. No makeup, no. no. They Locked can't be themselves. Exactly. exactly. I can be myself in private, but I can't be myself in public. Exactly. So the day that you can't do is the day that you get a chance to be you. Exactly. Worst that can happen is somebody judges you, whatever, and it's like, oh well. Like people, those are people that's not gonna be there for you anyway. So but they, who cares? Exactly. <laughs> they are not the Lord. Exactly. <laughs> and that's the thing. That's the thing is that we're living for so many things. That the day that we get to be you is the day that we don't want to do. Trent has this love yourself challenge, and he's telling me day six. He told me it's transparency day. That means you got to post a picture of yourself or do something that shows the real you. No makeup. No. He says that's the day when people drop off. But that's crazy though. We're so concerned about what people think about us who aren't the Lord. The day that you get to be yourself is the day that we run away from the challenge. You always know when you're living for other people when other people get to decide how you live. What up? It's Jonathan. I'm here with my boy Trent. We just got back from uh, the Cowboys facility. We were at the Star. Uh, we had Bible study out there. We had one guy show up for Bible study. He's one of my guys. Um, but you know, my dad always used to tell me, you know, if, if you'll minister to thousands, but you don't minister to one, something's wrong with your ministry. And so I'm glad whoever's coming to be disciple, that's a great opportunity. But I'm really glad about having the opportunity to spend that day with my boy Trent. There's things, steps that he takes people through to learn how to take care of themselves or live their best life. Yeah, it's basically the, the Love Yourself Challenge. It's a four-week challenge, 20 days. And the first week is a self-care week, teaching them to take care of their self, their health. And the second week is 
a transparency week, which is hard. Just being transparent, being open, yeah. saying I need help, talking about your past. We don't like being transparent. Nah, but that, that's where your transformation <laughs> happens, though, right? Ooh, you know, like that. Yeah. So the third week is a positivity week. So like nothing but positive things in your life. You know, mm-hmm. even social media, like unfollowing people that's negative. You know, for yeah. your mindset, which is, which is social tough. media be killing people. And fourth is know your worth. So. That process, man, but I think it's just key that, um, especially when it comes to being transparent, like that's the main thing, people are ashamed or embarrassed, and I always say this, like, what helps, what helps me with my story is like, whoever's judging you is not perfect anyway, you know, and your power is in telling your story, I mean, I wouldn't be where I'm at today, I'm sure yourself too, it's like, if we wouldn't have never opened up and tell our story, so people need it. Being transparent will lead to transformation, for sure. You know, just remembering that a lot of things that I teach these guys when I go uh, just do my devotionals with the Cowboys, when I go back and do my uh, chapel services, really just comes from my experience. So if we're not willing to share our experience, then how in the world can God use you for a ministry? I mean, it, it, you, have no, you have no way of connecting with people if they don't know you've ever gone through anything. And so I guess we just kind of need to take off the mask sometimes. That's what we're talking about is taking off the mask. So that people can see the real you because you'll find out that that people like you better than your mask. That's right. Because they can see the their they can see their real self. That's right. And your real self. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So use that for your ministry. We're gonna use it for our ministry as we continue to do what we both do. Hey, follow Trent. He's he's a beast. Trent Shelton. Okay? Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it, man. Let's do it. Always.